What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is going on guys? Welcome to part two with this Rakdos aggro list. Uh, if you did not check out part one, highly recommend you do so. We go over the deck a little bit more in detail there so you can kind of see exactly what list we're playing, why we're playing everything that we've got. Uh, I will just go ahead and say uh, the games did not go super well uh, for us in the first video. We didn't really get any wins, but that's okay. We're here to test decks, not here to just win. Uh, one thing, uh, as we kind of fire up the first game here that I just want to mention, I am very, very excited. In between recording these, uh, we did get our proofs in uh, for our full art land cycle that we created. Uh, very, very happy to say they look fantastic. So uh, to kind of, whoop, there is the front and the back. Uh, and they look absolutely amazing. I am very, very stoked about these. Uh, this means that we'll be able to order the rest of them, uh, the rest of the cycle, and then get these out to you guys. So you can actually purchase them uh, once we've got them up on our website. Uh, they will be available for purchase via our website. So if you're not already uh, checking that out, highly suggest you do so. It's itresolvesmtg.com. Uh, you can see it kind of in between every video that we uh, post. Uh, at the beginning and the end, usually that comes up. So very, very excited, though, um, about these. This is a huge step for us uh, is the best thing that I can say. I think it's it's really, really cool to say that, you know, we created something. Seems like everybody likes it, uh, and that's that's awesome. It's really, really cool. Uh, unfortunately, that kind of sucks, but we do have Call, which makes this a little bit better. There we go. Um, put a death touch counter on, let's do this. Um, that's one of the cool new tech cards, by the way, from Akoria is Call of the Death Dweller. We've seen that in other decks, um, but it's a really good card in this list, I think, uh, for the, those moments where they deafen and Clarion and you, you lose out on a lot of stuff here. Double deafen and Clarion kind of sucks, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I... Could not be more excited, to be honest. So I'm just in a good mood. Um, let's go ahead and put Bone Crusher out there. Next turn, assuming they don't do anything to kill the Bone Crusher, which they very well may, um, we do get to Ember Cleave this, uh, which is going to be good. Going to be very, very good. Um, let's see what they do. Obviously, if a Fires deck, ugh, that sucks for us. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have another threat to deploy here, which really is not good for us. Um, not much we can do. We're drawing a lot of land here. <clears throat> um, we are running 23 lands, uh, so one less than kind of the average. Um, that's bad for us as well. So we'll see what we can do here. Chances are they're just going to overpower us pretty quickly here, though. This These fires decks really... Ugh. I mean, we can draw a card here, but I, I'd rather almost just get this out so we can equip it uh, to whatever we get. That yep. Like it. They could have just bounced this for value just to draw a card, but that's okay. Clearly, they don't need our help. <laughs> um, probably going to end up just conceding here to be honest we'll see what we draw most likely but chances are we are uh oh yeah okay let's go ahead and concede all right let's jump into game two that one did not go very well we're not having great luck with this deck um and i i i don't know the more i think about it the more i think this deck i i mentioned in the first video so i played a very similar uh rakdos kind of knights list um to ladder up in best of one uh, when Akoria, pre Akoria, so before it had come out. Um, and it actually went pretty well. Like, we, we got a good ways uh, just off of that deck. Um, but I think the meta has definitely changed that it's probably not the best thing to be playing right now. But this is why we try stuff out. This is why we just look and see, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But it's nice to be able to 
to uh, test it out and find out for sure. Um, this is a keep hand, uh, but we are against worth noting an Obosh deck, so they're going to be dealing some damage too, and they probably have a good bit of burn. So we'll do the best we can. Not expecting this video to last all that long, um, but that's okay. Interesting. Haven't seen that before. In constructed. I guess it kind of works with this because it deals double, but that's only two. I don't know. Maybe they got a cool little recurring kind of thing. This does untap anytime you play a non creature spell, which is pretty cool. Sure. It's kind of fine. Yeah, let's just do that and. Hmm. We'll play this. I guess it would have been better to go the other way because now these just trade uh, and this amasses for one. <clears throat> so this would have. Well, no, it didn't. It wouldn't have mattered, I guess. They would have killed each other regardless. This does just give us a haster that we can kind of toss out whenever we feel like it. Yep. Could have dealt one and then untapped that. What's nice is in response to this ability, you can tap it and use it. But I guess it makes sense. They want to get the goblin banner out down. That makes complete sense. So, the question becomes, do we just blow one of these guys up and play the Fervent Champion? Or do we go for the Rotting Regisaur? They've only got two mana. Um, so they're not at Obosh yet. I'm going to do this first. If they want to block, they can block. It just means we get to eat two of their creatures, not one. So I'm okay if they want to do that. And they don't. So in this case... Uh, I'm going to kill that. That was the biggest like damage dealer. This one can get unblockable, and this one can untap, but they're not playing very many spells per turn. It doesn't look like, at least. Um, so we'll see what they do. Yep. Looks like they're just stuck on lands. This might be our only hope to win. That's kind of sad. Oh, mean. <coughs> Excuse me. Sure. Interesting deck. Uh, featuring these gremlins, the blister spit. This um, I actually like this card uh quite a bit in limited. I've I've not played a ton of drafts with uh Akoria, but I have done a few, and I'm enjoying it. Like it's a very fun format. I've had amazing luck with uh the the deck that I hate actually the cyclers deck the red white cyclers in limited uh, it just plays very very well because so many things have cycling it's pretty easy to make it as close as you can to the constructed deck and like if it's good enough for constructed it's probably good enough for limited um, is kind of my thought process and it works out pretty well so can't complain too much <clears throat> yep They're thinking long and hard. Hmm. I think this is right. I'm not 100% sure. And we could have also just waited. There was no reason to do that now. <coughs> Excuse me. In fact, it would have been more correct to wait. That was a, a bit of a mistake. Um, I'm, I'm playing it a bit slow because we do have the Rotting Regisaur, so it's like, you know, we can just... That's not good. So this is a situation where I definitely messed up by, by not waiting. Um, but it is what it is. So 
So next turn they just win, right? They just attack in with this, pump it up. All right. <clears throat> well, this deck isn't very good, <laughs> is the takeaway. Um, I did misplay there, but I I think they would have escaped it that turn. Um, so I guess we probably would have gotten at least one more turn. Um, so that's worth noting. But um, I don't think we could have won there either. I mean, Rotting Regisaur plus Embercleave, awesome. Um, but we couldn't. We would have had to have discarded the Ember Cleave if we had played it that turn. So, like, it wouldn't have really worked out that way. All right. Well, this is the last game. Um, this is not an amazing ham, but I'm going to try it. We got two one drops here. And then two Ember Cleaves, which, you know, is something. Really, more than one of these isn't really ideal, but that's fine. That's not a bad card. Um... I'm just playing everything out here because might as well. <clears throat> sure. Hmm. Just gonna do this. <sighs> Might as well not burn the card. Um, and equipping this means we couldn't have pumped, so. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I'm just going to pump. I don't know if that's 100% correct, but that's what we're going to do. It gives us maximum damage. Yeah, we could have equipped this and gained some life back, but our life total's not the the worry at the moment, at least. See what they want to do. Okay. Just gonna play this out then. Um, yeah, we'll pass. Could have equipped this. Not super worried about it though. Would rather spread out the board. They are running running black here, so we've got to be pretty careful about removal spells. Ooh, a little surprised they didn't do this pre combat, but sure. We do get to Ember Cleave this coming turn. If we'd like. Robber doesn't actually help us. Um, who do we want to attack? I'm going to do that. Nissa is a big problem for us, so we kind of have to deal with Nissa. Um... I'm going to hold off. I don't know if that's right, but... I cannot protect Let's do this. And... Let's do this. I, again, I'm... I'm learning as we go here. I don't know 100% what the best thing is. That's pretty good for them. Wow. Okay. Um... Hmm. So we can call get two things back. We could get this and this. I kind of like that idea. Uh, we'll put death touch on this and menace on this. Yeah, let's do that. All right. I like hitting the two for one here because it just means they have to have another way to sweep. Um, interesting that they play Fine Finality. That's cool. I haven't seen that card in quite a while. Um, 
Yeah, so they get to kill. Or they don't get to kill, I'm sorry. So I can't kill this. That's a death touch counter. So, might as well, I think, at that point. Butcher, huh? Does this have reach? It does have reach. Um, this does have a menace counter. Oops. Let's do that. Alright, uh, and let's swing in with this while we can. Let's gain a little bit of life back. I'm thinking long and hard about this one because we have not done well in these games, so I'd like to do the best we can, but I also just... I, I mean, we'll sum up this, this deck after this game, but I'm not sold on it is what I will say. I mean, we're going to try it. The fact that this has Menace is great. Okay. I mean, that sucks for us, but it's really not the worst thing in the world. It would have probably won us the game, but, like, you know. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Um, might as well equip this here. Well done. Double Assassin's Trophy. That's pretty cool. I did actually build a Golgari value deck um, very recently just because I was like, yeah, I just kind of want to see how it goes. But Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to double up here. So if they do have a single removal spell, that's not going to do it. <clears throat> Actually going to equip. Uh, no, no, that's bad. Uh, let's equip here. They did scry to the top, did they not? So I assume they've got a kill spell or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just have a million mana. Oops. Yeah. Deal damage first. I think this... Does this deal two to us? No, okay. Is it just, um, becomes a target of a spell? Yeah, yeah. Equip equipping does not count. <coughs> Let's go ahead and kill this. <coughs> And then we should win. So we did finally get one win with this deck. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, in summation of this deck, I don't love it on the best of one ladder. Um, you know, on paper, I was looking at it and I was like, this looks like such a solid list. Let's actually pull it up here. Um, it looks like it has all the pieces that it needs. Uh, and what I mean by that is it's got nice aggressive creatures here in the early game. Got a little bit of burn <clears throat> and a little bit of removal uh, between Bone Crusher Giant and Heartless Act. Uh, and a little, technically a little bit of burn with Dreadhorde Butcher. Um, got a really, really nice three drop with the Regisaur that can either eat a removal spell or be a really nice, just early, you know, very aggressive card. And it has a little bit of evasion and the cards, like this gives it recursive value. So it's got a little bit more of a recursive feel than the previous kind of Rakdos list that I was running. Um, and then Embercleave, of course, to finish the game off. This is just kind of a nice add-on. Kind of would debate on keeping two of these, maybe one, but I, I don't know. Um, anyway, looking at the deck, like, in my opinion, I will say, I feel like it has a lot of the pieces that it needs to succeed, but um, it's just not fast enough, or uh, it just gets outpowered. So the, the problem that I keep running into, or at least I seem to keep running into, is that, you know, these guys are great. 
They're very early, very good aggressor, uh, aggressive cards against like a mono red deck, for instance. That's kind of the aggro deck that I always compare against. Um, you know, these will most often trade with something or whatever, but the mono red decks have more burn. Uh, they usually have Bone Crusher along with Shock, um, usually maybe a Lava Coil or two, just to like give you the extra boost that you need to clear the board. This has a little bit of that, but not enough. Um, and so what we run into is we're just playing out creatures into more removal spells uh, against those aggro decks. Now, on the flip side, uh, against like a Mutate deck right now or a Garuda deck right now, which we didn't really see a Garuda deck, but uh, anything that's playing big stompy dudes, these guys become very, very, uh, we'll say less than optimal, especially like the Robber of the Rich and the Fervent Champion. They kind of just lose value. Uh, Knight of the Ebon Legion, you get to give something Death Touch or, or give it Death Touch. That's helpful. Uh, but if you're doing that, you're not playing other stuff, which is, you know, a problem in itself. Dreadhorde Butcher can be good, but it also has moments where it's like, okay, I'm playing this out, but I really can't attack with it, in which case it's pretty bad. We we did run into that one game. Um, and then, you know, against these guys, you don't have to spend, like the opponent doesn't have to spend the removal. They just need to ta save it for these two, uh, and really especially this. Uh, and so we get into a position where the deck is just outpowered. Um, now, I'm, I mean, we saw it win there. I think there are instances where it definitely will win. Um, I don't think it's a terrible deck. I just don't think it has what it needs, or at least I, I think it doesn't have enough of what it needs to make it work. Um, maybe trim down on the Embercleave a little bit, trim down on some of these kind of two of weirdo cards, I say, uh, kind of jokingly, but maybe try a different configuration and see how it goes. Maybe even trim down on lands. We have 23 lands. Granted, you know, that's pretty good for a deck that tops out around four. Uh, this you know, most often is going to be cheaper than six. So uh, you can kind of count on that being a four or five drop, but like maybe that's too many lands. I, I don't know. Um, so I think that there's some configuration stuff that can be done here. Regardless, don't think this is the best deck to ladder up with right now. Um, I would try it. I mean, see what you've got. Uh, a lot of these cards are popular anyway, so you might have them already. Uh, so I would try it out, but it just didn't feel right for me. Uh, if you do have a different configuration, please share it, though. I would be happy to take another peek at this. I usually love Rakdos Aggro a little bit more than the Mono Red uh, because it gets some different toolbox cards. Um, but in this case, I, I'm just not sold on it, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think it's the best one, at least in my limited experience so far. So that's kind of all I've got to say about the deck. Uh, again, I just want to mention um, these will be available very, very soon. We're hoping... Uh, but, you know, as soon as we get the rest of them in, we're putting them up. So uh, if you're interested in purchasing those, you absolutely can do that. You're going to have to do it via the website. Uh, we have been working on kind of the online storefront and all that stuff. It is not live quite yet. It will be very soon. Uh, so b please do keep an eye out for that. We're really excited about these. Uh, and if you're interested, they will be there. So uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we finally did get a win, so we weren't at a complete loss uh, which was nice, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you very soon in the next gameplay video.